Oh my goodness, hide your pets and get off the sidewalks. Move, get out of the way. Sean's towing for the first time. He's so mean. <laughs> I mean, talk about encouragement, y'all. She'll do fine, just don't hit nothing. Yeah, stay tuned to see if I'm still alive or better yet, if Matthew's still alive when this is over. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> to Mitchell, South Dakota. There's nothing in Plankington. We done discovered it for you. <laughs> nothing. It only took like five minutes to stroll around the town. And it's, I don't want to be mean, but it's not even that cute of a town. It's just a tiny little town. That's it. Did you say the bar was bigger than City Hall? The grill and bar was bigger than City Hall, yeah. However, they do have a courthouse. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest thing in the town. Yeah, and I think they had like a World War II memorial in front of it with a bunch yeah, of statues. But literally, because I was all excited. I'm like, I want to go explore Main Street. No. Nothing. There ain't nothing. So we're going to go to Mitchell, which is where we have to go into town to do shopping. Mm -hmm. and they supposedly have some trails we're going to get to hike around lake mitchell it's an easy trail they don't have moderate or difficult hiking here mm. and then we go to visit the corn palace yeah they say it's the world's only corn palace yep i don't really know what a corn palace is but we are going <laughs> to check it out well, i'll show you all about it all right y'all we're here Matthew's getting our book bag ready. Um, we parked in the parking lot that says Lions Point. And this is the parking lot. No one's really here. We're taking the West Launch Trail. Uh -huh. I'd rather it just be a dirt path. I'm not fond of hiking on gravel because the loose rocks make it hard for your feet, your shoes to grip it. It's yeah. more slippery. Yeah. All right, what did we do? We followed the easy path, and I'm not sure that's the right one. That's why we have all trails. But it didn't beep at us yet, though. All right, right around here, right there, here's the trail. Really? Look, this is neat. Yep, this is the right trail. So where were we headed? To just a parking lot? I don't know. Now all trails is happy. Now all trails is happy, which means we're happy. It's single file, y'all. It's only big enough for one bike at a time and one person at a time. So pick your leader wisely. I don't know. He led us astray, though. <laughs> All right, y'all. Now that we're taking the right path, you remember the other one was really wide and gravelly? Look at this. It looks more like a bike path. And look how the views get better. I mean, look at this. I'm not going to get too close to the edge. It's soft earth. It may give way. But there's the edge. And there's our view. Lake Mitchell. Very pretty. And if you haven't seen us on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook, or sometimes YouTube Shorts, that's what Sean's recording right there. A short video for y'all. All right, so we're on this nice trail, and we see this caution sign. What's going on? Jumps ahead. Gaps ahead. Well, this is not just a hiking trail, y'all. This is a mountain bike trail. A serious one. There is one of their little jumps oh but it gets better and look at that over there right in there if you can see that right in there there's a banked curve that people go on this is part of the mountain bike course too look at this i bet that's a lot of fun we intend on getting mountain bikes one day look at that I would hurt myself on that, but it'd be fun trying. Look at that, it looks like a racetrack. 
Would you do this? You say no now, but when you get on a mountain bike, you might be tempted. All right, y'all. It is amazing that we are the only people out here and it's like 1040 in the morning. It's like May 14th. The weather is nice. It's like in the low 60s. It is windy, maybe up to 15 mile per hour winds. And no one's here. We passed like three or four parks. I they give you ample parking, which makes me think this area could be busy, but maybe it's just busy in the summer. Here is the end of the line for this trail. A beautiful dock. Just right for sitting down, enjoying the lake. And here is your lake view. Lake Mitchell. Or at least part of it. There's Sean. Nice hike, nice day to hike. Take the second right onto North Main Street, then your destination will be on the right. And the light will make a right. Look at that, the world's only corn palace. Never even heard of it till we got here. Look at that. All of that is corn. And they replace it every year. I think they changed themes too. So y'all, we are currently live on a webcam that we know of. We're on the corn cam. What, Mitchell, South Dakota corn cam. Yeah, it's uh, visitmitchell.com slash corn cam. I think is what it is. It's the world's only corn palace. And right now we're live and in person on their camera. Yay, <laughs> let's see if I can point it out. See, it's right there, I believe. So how do you feel now that your life has brought you to the one and only Corn Palace? It wasn't what I expected. It's um, an arena, like inside. Oh yeah, and what were they playing? Cornhole, which we have yet to <laughs> play. I heard that's I a big RVers um, game is cornhole. Sit over there y'all, look, it's um, corn. Matthew's gonna, I'm gonna get his picture by the corn. Oh the yeah. Instagram. Picture for and follow us on Instagram, by the way. Broken Dreams Reborn Instagram. We post photos. I'm trying to get better with the photos and stories and stuff of more up-to-date stuff. And there is, I'm going to get Matthew's picture over there. And it should make an appearance on our Instagram page. Yeah, and we don't post the same things on Instagram as we do on YouTube all the time. So if you want something different and kind of wacky, go to Instagram. And while we're here, this is part of Mitchell. Now Mitchell is bigger than this. Don't let this fool you. Mitchell's a pretty decent sized town, but this corner of it has a small town feel to it. Look at their main street. It's so cool. It really is. All right, y'all, the time is here. We got our UPS package from Mobile Must Have, and this time is for Verizon. And we will see if it works. We're not going to get too excited until this actually works yeah. more than five minutes. So if we don't seem <laughs> over, I mean, we're excited that it came, but we're like mm -hmm. kind of hesitant, like he said. The last one worked for like five minutes and then it went kablooey because we were blacklisted forever. Ooh, so we're bad. Yeah, we bad. All right, what are you doing? <laughs> we're a little nervous. I'm going, <laughs> you can see it works well enough to at least go to speedtest.net. That's what we always use. So let's go and hit go. Look at that. 108 download, 12.78 upload. And that's what we're looking at. Now, it has been about five minutes. So We'll check back in with y'all a little bit later just to make sure this doesn't go poof and disappear again. Let's hope not. All right, Nervous Nelly, what do you think? 
Honestly, I was like shocked that it's working. Let's hope that it stays working because AT&T did the same thing and then they're like, cut off. <laughs> off with your head like I was in Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. I am going to attempt to hook up the truck to the RV for the first time. It might take us an hour. I don't know, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. There it is. Everything is still detached. And I am going to try to hook it up. You still got at least 10 feet, so keep on coming. You're nowhere near it, no matter what it looks like. Come on. A little further. Stop, put it in park, get out and look. All right, y'all, did she do it? I think that's good, let's see. What do you think? Wow, it's dead center. All right, bring it on home. No, better, come on. Let it go, come on. Come on. There you go, put it in park. Oh my goodness! She did it! Look at that! Alright. Look! Master truck driver! She got it! It's nerve-wracking pushing that back. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing next, truck driver? The tug test. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, what do you do? I gotta lower the rig to where the front landing gears... I've never done this. The tug test is very, very, very important. Is that enough? A little bit further. Alright, stop. And the reason we do this, y'all, is look, the feet are off the ground. That one has a leveling block and it's off of it, but it's not so high off the ground that if this isn't connected, this hits the trailer. The trailer hits the truck. It will not hit the truck because this gap is bigger than that gap. So that's why we do it. All right. All right, truck driver. Put foot on the brake. Yes. Put it in to drive. Keep your foot on the brake. Now squeeze that. Don't let go. Yeah. Take your foot off the brake. Hold that. Do it now. All right. Now give it a hair of gas. A little more than a hair. All right. You're good. All right. First, we got to do light check, and then I'm going to back you up so we can get a better position on this runway. Okay. Rolling in and doing that work. Check priorities, I'm doing that first Them checks big and I'm sure that that hurts But it's checkmate, we ain't selling short, no to work Ain't nowhere to hide You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind Cause I'll be on the way Yeah You know I'll be on the way Keep going, keep going, keep going Alright, crank it to the right and stay to the left hand side of this road that is your goal all right straighten out oh stay to the left yeah now keep keep this direction all right let me show y'all where we're going this is what the turn is that she has to make you think she can do it no, all right slow down a little bit goes right towards that cabin there with the white picnic table head right towards it mm -hmm. a little more crank her to the right and follow the road on the left hand side of the road okay until your trailer is pretty straight all right now start going down that road to the left here yep sean is driving we are going down this road all right how do you feel i'm not ready to take it on the interstate i mean it feels fine it's like it's like I'm just driving the truck. Uh huh. But I'm worried about. All right. Running into stuff. Stop for a second. I just want to review. I know I've said it before. When you turn right, when you turn right towing the trailer, which side of the lane do you want to be on? Left. Okay, very good. Now, the next question. When you turn right, which side of the truck, as you turn, 
is the trailer going to A, veer to the left side of the truck as you turn right? Is it B, going to stay right behind you perfectly? Or C, is it going to track off to the right as you turn right? The back of the trailer. Back of the trailer will probably go to the right. Correct. So that that's why we go to the left-hand side of the lane when we turn right, because the trailer takes more room than you do. The truck will go where you point it. The trailer, eh, it wobbles a little. So right. go ahead. I won't say anything. You got this one. Don't go to the pond. Go to the right. <laughs> That's what I need to know. How far do I go before I start turning? You'll get a sense of that. Uh, a little bit further. Now you can crank it. watching your mirror good deal you did really really good are you sure this is your first time towing a 36 foot fifth wheel <laughs> yes. you sure yes. it seems like you've done this before all right y'all I did it if you come across an RV park that's you know fairly empty or easy to maneuver then take that as an opportunity to you know tow your RV around or learn how to hook it up um, you know it, or even if you happen to find a big parking lot which we never did but we have a challenge for the non towing spouses just get out there and try to tow even if it's 10 feet or more put hashtag BDR tow challenge on all of our social medias tag us in it with that hashtag and let us see you tow for the first time <laughs> Alright, so now it is Matthew's time to tow and he is looking forward to it, aren't you? We have to fix all of our cameras and everything, so. Y'all, I'm so proud of her. She did such a great job. Next stop, long haul towing across the whole country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's with us? 